Hi there, welcome back to Simple or Difficult. In this tutorial, we'll be creating walls. I will show you how to add exterior wall and interior walls using selected points. I will also show you how to use the split tool and the trim extend tool to create an opening for a corridor. There is an exercise file attached in the description. Please download it and follow along. Let's talk about creating walls in Revit. Alright. All elements have a level they are attached to when they are placed in the project model. If you are working on a plan view, the associated level is established from that view. That means you have to go to that level by double clicking it in the project browser. However, there are exceptional cases. For instance, let's say you want to add some walls and have them start from the NGL. And as you can see, there is no reference to NGL in the project browser. So what do you do? Well, this is where the options bar and the project palette come in really handy. To begin placing wall, on the architecture tab, select the wall tool. Okay? Once the tool is selected, you can use the type selector at the top of the properties palette to specify the type of wall you want to place. In this example, an exterior wall 230 mm. Before we go ahead and start placing wall in the drawing area, there are a few things we need to specify in the options bar and the properties palette. The height of the wall is then specified on the options bar. You can do this in the properties palette too. But for the purpose of what we are doing, let's do it on the options bar. Uh, if a level datum already defined in the project is selected, then the top of the wall will be constrained to that level. Here, for the first part, which is the garage and the entrance porch, the first floor level is selected for the top constraint for the wall. The height of the wall can also be set to unconnected, in which case you enter an explicit value for the wall height. The wall location line is also set on the options bar. This setting establishes where the wall will be positioned in relation to the click points as the wall is placed. Okay? The wall center line will be used for these walls. Alright? The chain option lets you draw connected walls with each mouse click being a new segment. For now, for the base constraint, we want these walls to be constrained to the NGL. So on the properties palette, we will set the base constraint to NGL like so. Click apply. Now let's go ahead and place the wall in the drawing area. For the second part, which is the main building, the roof level is selected for the top constraint. The base constraint is also constrained to the NGL. Hit apply. Now let's go ahead and place the wall in the drawing area. Alright. With the exterior walls placed, you can always make modifications to the walls at any time. You can select the walls, change their constraint, add base or top offset and so on, as you can see in the properties palette. Okay, um, you can hold control while selecting elements to add more objects to the selection set. Okay, alright. To create interior walls, you open the ground floor plan view. Select the wall tool again. Use the type selector to specify any interior wall type. Okay? The height is set to first floor level and the location line is set to wall center line. Okay? While placing interior walls, you might find it useful to change the chain settings depending on the conditions where you are placing the wall.
to create an opening for the for the hallway you use the split to split the wall into two separate segments at the point where the opening is needed next you use the trim tool select the portion of the wall which are to be kept cleaning up the opening for the hallway now let's go to the first floor and add the interior walls there too select the wall tool specify the constraints place the walls Alright, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give us a like. And also, don't forget to subscribe. And not only that, ring that bell so you don't miss any of our future tutorials. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in my next video.